Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Previously we've been going on a bit of a missioning spree. I've been in the system of Heora and I've been doing uh, the missions of the, of the scope and it has been going pretty well apart from an issue with a certain uh, Blood Rainer burner. Uh, th fortunately, uh, we managed to recover a slight amount of risk from the ship. We managed to recover a small armor repair and then we bought a new Nurgle and we managed to just obliterate this burner. So it was just a silly mistake I made by not equipping the right module to the fit. But otherwise, it was pretty simple. Something I wanted to do here is I wanted to use my Paladin. Because it's a very long time since I used my Paladin. And in my opinion, I think the Paladin is probably one of the best ships to use for doing L4 missions in a Marauder. Because the thing is here, okay, you've got different ships to choose when it comes to Marauders for L4 missions. You've got the Golem, you've got the Varga, and you've got the Kronos. The thing is, the Kronos, the problem I have with that ship is that the blasters are very good to be used on that because you get a very high amount of dps but the issue is when it comes to uh, the blasters they have a very short range so even though they have the highest dps out of all ships or the marauders they're still going to be or they don't feel like they do a lot of dps because of how they have wait just need to check that i've got the right fit here it's important to check that you've got the right fit uh, because we've made pre issues or mistakes previously by not having the right fit, and we do. Okay, never mind. Uh, but back to the Kronos. The Kronos has not got the best range, so it's going to feel like it has a lot less DPS than it actually does. And then you've got the Varga, and the Varga is uh, is pretty good. I've not actually used the Varga myself, but I have seen a lot of videos on it. Uh, I don't personally like the appearance of the Varga, and that's the main reason. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Minotaur fans, but I don't really like it that much. Uh, it's good, but it's got also not so good range it can have good range with the right ammunition type but uh, the paladin is a really great balance in my opinion between range and dps because it's got still good dps but it's also got good range at the same time and i think that you need a certain amount of range in general for l4 missions it depends a lot on the mission you're doing i mean everything depends on the mission you could have missions that require no range and then a blaster chronos would be better but when i'm looking at l4 missions as a whole i think that you probably have the most suitable range with the paladin with pulse lasers because pulse lasers have a lot of dps but they also have pretty good range with the what's it called now the bastion module we're using scorch l we have uh, 105 fall off so that's really good range we can hit up almost anything here so what i'll do is probably just bastion up increase range and snipe all the frigates that are very far away before they get too close that's a good idea because then you they're not able to get under your guns another serious contender to the paladin would be the golem in my opinion and the golem is really great because it's got a lot of dps it's got a decent range not as good range as the paladin but it can get very good dps if you put the right ammunition type such as the javelin torpedoes so range is also pretty good on that ship as well i would still say the paladin is a bit better in terms of range because you can a lot easier switch between uh, damage types so you see here, i'm just switching f uh, within a second just to corn flag just like that you can't do the same thing in a in a uh, golem so it's, i would still say the range is better on the paladin but it's got still good range so it's not like you can have issues like the chronos for example the chronos is going to have a lot more range issues than the golem uh the golem also has really good dps uh, the issue I have with the Golem is that it has got a lot of travel time when it comes to its missiles. Its missiles are going to have a bit of travel time issues because missiles take a bit of time to hit their targets. Unlike the Paladin, which we've got here, which is able, well, I should activate my modules, <laughs> which we're able to just instantly blast the enemies as soon as we lock them up. That's a lot of time saved if you add it all up. Let's see if we can add the Con flag perhaps here. Uh, we can also, it's good that I activate the reactive hardener now than later because it didn't seem to be working out too good having no reactive armor hardener okay uh, then another thing is that the golem the uh, positive side of the golem that i forgot to mention is that the golem is able to do all damage types that's a downside to the paladin the paladin is able to only do em and thermal damage which can be useful in many cases, but also can be not so useful in many any cases. It depends on NPC to NPC. When it comes to the Golem, you're able to specialize in the exact type of damage you want because it can do use all missiles. It can use all missiles, explosive, EM, thermal, kinetic, you name it. So that's one thing that you'll be a bit more efficient in your damage. But I think that I love the ability of the Paladin to do instantaneous damage because that in certain missions where you have to just take out a single target you're a lot better like headshotting someone here in this Paladin than you are in a Golem. You're still going to be able to do it in a Golem but 
I feel like the Paladin is a bit better at it, and especially when you combine it with its good range as well. That makes her an awesome ship to do these alpha missions quickly. Something that, uh, another downside to the Golem over the Paladin is the application can be a bit problematic at times. Well, it's not necessarily problematic, but it works in a different way. The Golem is good for more consistent damage all the time because it's got good bonuses to its target painter, so it's going to be able to have a decent amount of damage uh, even with stuff that's close and far. But it's not going to be applying so well, like to frigates, for example. When it comes to the Paladin, stuff that is far away is going to apply perfectly. So as you saw in the beginning of this mission here, we were able to just knock out the tiny frigates where they were really far away, like it was nothing. The Golem wouldn't be able to do that because it will still not apply fully. It will still kill them pretty quickly. Uh, but the travel time of the missiles plus the not 100% application as well due to how missiles work is going to make it feel a lot less quicker, a lot less twitchy, unlike the, unlike the Paladin. The issue though with the Paladin is that the Paladin, when it comes to stuff that is close, is going to have trouble hitting them and probably will not hit them at all. And that's why you're going to have to rely on drones and the tracking um, module I've got here. Or you could equip your Paladin with a web. That could also help. But what I like to do is that that doesn't become too much of an issue for me because I just make sure I destroy the frigates before they're even able to get close. And then I usually am able to mitigate the issue of them coming too close. So... When it comes to small stuff and application, I prefer the Paladin, even though the Golem has got a very good application overall as well, because it has uh, target painter bonuses and able to hit stuff, even if stuff gets really close to you under your guns or like orbits you at 500, you're still going to be able to destroy it, just maybe not as, as super fast as a Paladin would at long range. So I like the Paladin the most. I think that it feels really good, but I can see use cases for other Marauders, such as the Kronos and stuff that's really close or a golem for example if you don't mind the missile travel time and also need a specific damage type i can see the uh the golem being superior as well so here's what we're going to do here we're just going to want to take out that group over there in this mordis headhunter mission we just move over there a bit use an mjd and then we just lock up all these guys lock them up lock them up lock them up lock them up and lock them up like that and then we just go with conflag there we go and uh, we just destroy them like that and uh, we can easily just take them out no problem uh, i don't think i'm able to yeah okay i'm able to apply to that frig over there i need to take out frigates because they'll get too close there we go there we go there we go good 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 just need to destroy everything that's close here if stuff gets too close they're not going to be able to hit it properly so that's what i mean you see this guy here not really able to hit him properly because he's just way too close and that's something that you would not have an issue with as a golem but at the same time a golem wouldn't be able to just obliterate these cruisers and frigates as easily as we are destroying them in this pardon oh would you not use salvage drones <laughs> they are not uh, suited to be here you should have these acolytes and uh, we do not need to also have the armor pair just going 24 7 move this to dps can't do that so fast why not okay doesn't seem like we're able to destroy that frigate so this is like some this is an issue we would never have with the golem you would be able to just destroy that guy no problem but something you can also do here to mitigate this is also if you just just wait a bit until you come towards the end of this wave or uh, point in the mission you can just deactivate bastion module and then you can use the mjd to go far away and then you can just snipe this frigate with scorch no problem over there and then we just destroy this guy here. Or maybe we can just do one bastion cycle, perhaps. Yeah, I probably should do one bastion cycle. He seems to also be really far away, actually, so that we're not able to even hit with conflag properly. Yeah, there we go. Now we're able to hit, it seems like it. Something I love about the Marauders is that you've got a good track to be bonuses, so we could actually pull these guys in here. We've got long range on our tractor beams. See if there's any good modules it drops. Okay, now we want to use our MJD to go a little bit far away. See what's in here. Grab this. Oh, we weren't able to grab that, unfortunately. But either way, this is what you can do. Just a quick pulse here. And you're able to take out that. Modu Katana over there. 
you see that we get perfect application now we're not able to hit out as far because we're not in bastion mode but i don't think it's worth to go in bastion mode just for that one guy so now we can just dock up very simple very simple this mission is a very easy one you could also if you want to go for a full clear style because that's something that's really great uh, with marauders they just do so much dps they can actually be worth to destroy them all here you can get a lot of bounties and loot so that's definitely something you can do as a marauder or as a paladin especially because it's so powerful this one here uh, the damage is also suboptimal it's not optimal it's not like completely optimal but it's not bad either the second lowest uh, resist type on these guys is em sometimes kinetic i, th I think kinetic is usually the most uh, susceptible damage type to them so we are still going to be doing quite a bit of damage to those mordu guys we will dock up here so that was some uh, quick missioning in the paladin and I hope that became clear why I prefer this ship over all the other types of ships. I definitely see that the other ships have a place. I have even got a golem in this hangar right here. But I prefer the Paladin for these reasons. You can also use the other Marauders, such as the uh, golem, to have a little bit more different styles of fitting. So you could actually have a fitting that is perhaps more anti-gank. What I mean by that is I could have the high-grade Nirvana implants and have a big amount of like shield buffer. We'll be able to have a pretty big buff and it'll allow me to have a more like gank proof fit. It's not going to be 100% gank proof. Nothing is 100% gank proof in EVE Online, but it'll be more likely that I would survive a gank than not. So there are other types of fits you're able to do on a different type of marauder that you maybe wouldn't be able to achieve on a paladin. You could also put a big armor plate on the paladin. That's an also, also a possibility. But I find that the total buffer you can get is a bit bigger on the golem. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.